Last month, we told you about civilian Navy firefighters in Hampton Roads who say they're understaffed and burned out. They say it's causing a public safety issue. The Navy acknowledged part of the problem is the lengthy hiring process. In an investigation you'll see only on 13 News Now, Jacqueline Lee digs into the hiring process and why it is the way it is. hours and even longer work weeks. The first responders who protect the men and women who fight for our country, federal firefighters, say they've reached their breaking point. They're exhausted right now. So mentally, are they, are they sharp enough to, to be able to respond to calls? Are they sharp enough to, to be able to do that? And the fatigue factor, it's, it's mentally draining and physically, physically as well. Tim Welsh, president of the Tidewater Federal Firefighters Union, says firefighters regularly work six days out of seven, sometimes five 24-hour shifts in a row. He's pleaded to the Navy and even lawmakers, but nothing's changed. We feel absolutely helpless because we've, we've contacted everybody we know. Captain Monty Ashleman, director of operations and public safety for the Mid-Atlantic region, says the shortage is caused in part by the six to eight months it currently takes to hire someone. The number of qualified candidates is not our number one uh, problem, but currently it's onboarding. Oh, C Street. Ashleman says the onboarding process, or pre-employment screening, is outside Navy Region Mid-Atlantic's control. So we turned to Sarah Roberts, who oversees the CNIC Center for Excellence. Located in Jacksonville, Florida, the center is responsible for the onboarding process across all Navy regions. When we spoke with a captain here in Navy Region Mid-Atlantic, he said the issue with our firefighter shortage is the onboarding process. Okay. I believe that they may be looking at the entire hiring process is why they are thinking the onboarding process is taking too long. Let's go, Mark. The hiring process is broken down into 10 steps and covers everything from physical and agility tests to background checks, which can take months to clear. Robert says that all takes time. Do you believe the there is a lengthy hiring process, onboarding process. Do you think that's an issue at all? I believe that there, there is a process in place that we must vet candidates who are selected for positions and it takes a while to do that, yes. Do you think it's taking too long? I think any process can be improved and certainly the onboarding, the hiring process is constantly being reviewed and improved. Welsh says if firefighters continue working excessive amounts of overtime, it's a public safety concern. It wears you down. If you're, if you're tired, you're not going to have the same, same strength you would as, as when you're well rested. Um, so responding to calls, you, you may not have your all. We decided to take a look at the average time it takes to hire civilian firefighters across all Navy regions to see if it's a nationwide problem. It takes Navy Region Northwest 91 days, Navy Region Southwest 63 days, Southeast 112 days, and finally Navy Region Mid-Atlantic, which covers Virginia, takes 178 days. From the data that I have, Navy Region Southwest takes two months end to end to hire someone. But in a in Navy region, Mid-Atlantic, it's taking eight months. You and you could address that to Mid-Atlantic yeah, region. Exactly. And the Mid-Atlantic region tells me the biggest issue is firefighters leaving the force and a lack of hires coming in the door. If we don't solve some of these vacancy problems, if we don't solve some of these onboarding and the process uh, hiring problems, then uh, we are going to get in a place where individuals may be going out fatigued to execute their mission, and that's something that nobody wants. Representatives from CNIC say they started expediting the onboarding process this past January by allowing commands to use direct hire authorities. Navy Region Mid-Atlantic says that, coupled with its recent onboarding pilot program, allows them to cut the onboarding time to eight weeks and have identified 27 candidates. Jacqueline Lee, 13 News Now.